Hey guys, just going to go over a couple of the mods for the unshaven fuzz and um, I'll just give you a demonstration of what the actual mods sound like. So this is the uh, unshaven fuzz in its default configuration. I've got a 2N5089 on the end though um, because the other transistor is not, uh, not one I have on hand so I've just got another PNP which I've put in which so the 2N5089 um, sounds, sounds pretty good in that configuration so this is what it sounds like. So by modifying C2, we can um, we can increase or decrease the the base. So by putting in a lower value capacitor in C2, you'll end up with a less bassy sound. So this is what it sounds like with one nanofarad. And you can even remove the capacitor completely, but it gets very noisy and unstable. What's not helping the situation is that this um, effect's not in an enclosure. It's picking up all sorts of noise and, it's, and the, all the leads are too long. Um, so it's... Part of the reason why it sounds so unstable as well, if it was actually inside an enclosure with short leads, it probably wouldn't sound so bad. Um, but hopefully you can still hear what the actual tone of the um, effect sounds like. So we can also, so for this situation, I'm just going to leave 100 nanofarad in anyway because um, uh, it just sounds too, um, too whacked with, it, uh, uh, with, any, with any other configuration as I've got it right now. Um, what you can also do is you can remove um, uh, R2 completely. And pretty sure this also makes a pretty for a pretty unstable sort of um, effect. Uh, again, it shouldn't be quite so bad if you actually have it without all these very long, um, long leads because they kind of act like antennas and they pick up all sorts of no noise and amplify it. And uh, yeah, it just doesn't sound very good. Uh, so yeah, we'll remove R2 and we'll brace ourselves. Of sounds a bit sort of springy um, and you can also just put in um, you can you can you can put in a diode in that um, in that position as well um, and that will actually increase the gain as if this circuit needs any more gain than it already has uh, and it will work both ways around Sounds a bit like a mouthful of bees. Uh, so let's just go back to the standard configuration again. Um, and remember, if you like any of these modifications or you want something that's a bit wacky sounding, uh, you could add a switch um, to switch between two different configurations. Uh, it'd be a pretty easy mod to do. Um, so yeah, just on the back transistor around, um, you can flip that transistor around 180 degrees. Wasn't very impressed with this mod, but um, let's just do it anyway. kind of trumpety, uh, trumpety fuzz and um, as they tend to sound um, it's best to leave your, uh, your, your uh, oh, sorry, it's best just to play single notes um, so that you can hear a bit of clarity. If you start smashing lots of, doing complex chords and things it just turns into a big mess um, but that doesn't sound too bad with single notes. There's not really much point changing these, um, the other three transistors, so Q1 to Q3. I did try that before and um, I found the results weren't very pleasing. So MPSA 18 um, is the best um, candidate for those transistors. 
And um, I can't remember if I mentioned it yet, but uh, yeah, the that Q4, you can you, really 2N5089 or 2N5088, even though they are uh, NPNs and PNPs, you're meant to use a PNP, but I, I, put a PN, I put an NPN in there, it didn't make any difference. Um, it's... I don't think, I think on the schematic, the um, signal's actually not actually passing directly through it anyway. Um, so it finds its way around around that transistor, so it will still work. Um, so you could you could put whatever transistor you want in that position, I have a feeling. Um, it does weaken the effect though. Uh, if you put in a 2N3904, which is an MPN with um, uh, a low HFE, uh, it, does set, it does start to sound a bit too weak. So just aim for something that's... Um, around the 2N5088 slash 89 HFE and um, you should be right. So that's just a few quick modifications that you can do to the unshaven fuzz. Socket though, socket R2, if if I was building this again, I'd definitely socket R2 and, and C2 and definitely Q4 as well. The other three, up to you if you want to mess around with those, you might find something else that works well. I tried a few different combinations, I think 2N5088 and um, uh, I think I tried MPSA 13 and they kind of sounded rubbish so I ended up going back to um, MPSA 18. It seemed to be the only transistor that worked in those positions. But you can mess around with Q4, C2 and R2 uh, quite a bit. You can almost put whatever you want in any of those three positions um, to come up with all sorts of combinations. So here I am. Hope you liked that video. Um, I just wanted to quickly talk about what I was actually using in the video. The Gibson SG, I haven't used that for a while. I've, I've just cleaned it up and um, it's playing really nice. I've forgotten how, how well this um, guitar actually plays. And I'm actually not going through the bad cat, I'm going through the um, Fender and uh, the Twin, Twin Reverb. Some of the noise is actually coming from the amp. Um, it, you can hear there's noise now and the effect isn't even on. It's just a noisy old amp. It needs to be serviced pretty bad. I think the tubes need to be replaced and um, it would sound a lot better than it does at the moment, but it's just a bit noisy. So some of the noise you were hearing was actually the amp, not actually the effect. So that's it for this one. Just a, just an extension to Eric's video. Um, I just wanted to go through some of the mods so to give you an idea of what mods you can do um, and you can plan what, you, what you're going to do with it. As I said, C2, R2, Q4 would be my three picks for um, sockets. Um, the other three, don't know if I'd bother. Um, but anyway, I hope it gives you an idea of what you can expect when you build one. Thanks for watching. If you need the PCB, of course, I should add, <laughs> they're on the, on the store, and I'll leave a link in the, in the description below um, if you want to get one. And um, yeah, apart from that, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Cheers.